this area is a prime spot for fox, coyote, coon, everything. One, there's tons of den trees all around, surrounded by three rivers, fallen den trees. So there's definitely coon coming through here. Now what this is, is an old trail cutting right down the middle here. What I want to show you is this here, there's a heavy run coming up here. There's a trail on this side coming through and then you have this side here and one more right here. It's a deer run, which they all run and if you look here, there's, it looks like fox crap right there. So you have a four way intersection. You're gonna have a lot of action in here and I'm gonna put up my trail cam as well. I wanna see what's going on with these animals. Well, I like to put a deep hole. Like I said in the past, they're gonna step on that lowest point and this is where they're gonna access it from. Pack this in tight and the reason why is they're gonna dig at it. Put my hole here and then I'm gonna put the, uh, the poop right here. They're gonna come sniff it. So I found that concrete block. I got our cables that we use here. I'm just gonna clip it on. Okay, that's good. And then now I'm gonna dig a trench for it. Put it on the back and I'm gonna backfill that with um hey. If you can double it, it's better. So I'm gonna double twist this up. of the walk. You don't want to leave that exposed. That's pretty much. Perfect. Now we're about to get some snow tonight gonna get a mist that won't freeze it's gonna be nice and then the last thing I like to do is sift sift a little bit of dirt on top to cover up smells but not too much it'll freeze if you're going to late season Rubs some snow all over the ground. So you get some magnet land right on top. It's about the snow. So I won't have to rebate this for a couple days at least. 
Coyotes can take up to a week until you catch them on war. Get that down in that hole. That stick sticking up. That coyote turd. It's gonna be a recipe for disaster. I like I scattered fur around also. It's a little bit, not much. Let's get in a hole there. Guides them in. They're gonna see that coyote fur that was here already though. That's it. That thing's done. Literally just walking down the bank and I think it's under the snow. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look. There's a buried, I'm assuming, skunk. And he's like under the snow, maybe? Why do I always find all the weird stuff? Look at that. So crazy. Let's check it out. I hope I don't get sprayed. No, it's dead, whatever it is. Probably just a tail. Oh yeah, they killed the stunk also. So I got my two sets here. I don't know if I got anything or not. But I got coyote tracks coming down this way, right past my set, and fox tracks crossing it. Both at the same spot. So fox are going that way. Coyote are going right to my set. Here's my one set right there. Trail cam. Nobody. He just veered around that. Never hit it. Touched it. Oh. I got something. Yes! Hey, I got him on trail cam and it looks like a freaking skunk. Tell me I didn't get a skunk. I did. Oh boy. With all the action here, how the hell just catch a skunk? black going down the bottom well skunk never hurt any set I'm gonna have to get him out I'll have to reset I just want to show how interesting this is I definitely caught it on trail cam I have my cam right there watching it but this is cool I got the skunk here right and now look at all the coyote look at them all skirting like dogs that they are they were trying to get them. They actually walked pretty close to them, so they probably got blasted right in their face. Highly recommend it. Don't use your gloves that you're gonna. I got that uh, skunk from the other day, and I just realized he's stinking up my freezer really good. All my meat, everything, it just stinks like skunk. I had him flushed, I washed him uh, in a stream with gravel and everything, so it was uh, minus like 30 when I got him that day. So I didn't really have any running water. Um, I ended up putting them in 17 bags, two Ziploc bags, and the smell still dissipated into the freezer. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna try to take out some of the smell that it's still, it's like 30 degrees. So the way I'm doing that is, I already did one rinse of it with Dawn dish soap. I still have a lot in there. I'm gonna add just a little extra because this guy stinks. Got four times the cleaner here, four times stronger. And then a lot of people put baking soda and um, they'll do baking soda and peroxide. But I'm going to use some leftover uh, scent proof shampoos. Scent killer is made for that. So I'm going to try it out and see how that works. These were just like leftover with a little bit left. I added some water in it. And I'm going to add that in there. And the important thing to this is add warm water. Because what that will do is it's gonna pull the smell, the skunk essence, off the fur. So if you put cold water, it's not really gonna rinse, it's gonna kinda defeat the purpose. It might pull some of it out, but it's not gonna take all of it. So what I have here in this bucket is hot water, warm water. Leave it like that. 
Okay. So I want to try this method out because I'm going to tan the fur and uh, keep it with me. I want to keep this fur not around there, sell it. See all that yellow on the fur? I want to get that out. It should be white. This fur was unique. That's why I'm keeping them because most skunk have the lines down them. While this skunk's pure white, the whole back was all white. So I thought it was something cool to have if I go to shows and I have a table spread out. So I'll show you. I think this is his head. And his whole back is just all white. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I already smell it's a lot less. And uh, that's it. Just do that. And then ideally, if you could rinse him out in hot water after he sits for 10 minutes, that would be perfect. But um, I'm not bringing him inside. So I'll just rinse him out and then try to put him back in the freezer if possible or whatever I'm going to do with him. Flush him out now. We'll see. Stone. I'm trying to see. Roxy. 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 <laughs> Hi, Roxy.